Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install my SQL 5.6 on CentOS 6.3. Uh, this video will cover only the installation part, not a theoretical part. And so let's start the work. Uh, hardware requirement for my SQL server. Uh, you should have at least a desktop level system with 1 GB RAM, Pentium 4 processor, Linux operating system. Here I'm using, uh, uh, sorry, here I'm using a uh, 64-bit processor uh, with a 64-bit operating system and you can also use a window operating system and if you want a better performance then you should have at least server level system with 4 GB RAM Xeon 64-bit processor and Linux 64-bit operating system packages required for MySQL 5.6 MySQL client MySQL server and MySQL share uh, you can download all these packages from mysql.com so let's start the work on my testing machine uh, here is my testing machine and the host name is uh, sql.example.com and the same uh, prompt uh, same machine is here and here I'm running a nmon tool nmon is a system resource monitoring tool you can check my ram it's almost 2 gb and 85% almost is free and so it's a single core processor and uh, under OPT I have already downloaded the package you can check also its size okay so let's start the installation process uh, it's a RPM package so uh, you need to RPM command for installation so RPM and IBMH, I for installation, V for verbose, H for hash. Hash uh, means uh, the installation process is showing by the hash symbol. So MySQL and share. And the first uh, package is done. And then start the second line. Then server and it will take few seconds and here you can uh, see uh, the CPU utilization and the installation process uh, has been done successfully and after installation after installation uh, a random password has been set for the mysql root users uh, you will find that password under this bar under this directory or file okay so <coughs> if you familiar with mysql 5.5 uh, in mysql 5.5 uh, after installation the uh, uh, there is no password set on the <coughs> mysql root user but in mysql 5.6 a uh, default password is set on mysql root users it's a system generated password and you can uh, check the uh, check the password by using cat command and then the uh, file path is you can copy it and paste and here is your new mysql root user password so after the installation process uh, you have to need uh, start the service mysql service so services mysql and start and its success and then ch config and mysql and on and so the next time uh, mysql services will uh, start automatically you have no need to start it manually and you can check it by using nmap command uh, the port or mysql port 3306 is open so now you can uh, log in in the cli mode mysql hyphen p and the password is and then paste it and then log in and after login you have to uh, 
reset your password and you can reset your password by using this command uh, set password and set password for root user and localhost and password uh, and my password is a uh, password at the rate one two three and and enter and then plus privileges and okay and exit it and then login with new password uh, I'm login successfully and you can create a new pass uh, new database DB new and it's created successfully and show databases and your new database is new DB is listed in show database list so it's created successfully and now you can exit it, exit it and and the one more is different uh, one more difference in 5.6 uh, in 5.5 .5, the default uh, my cnf file under etc directory but uh, in 5.6 the my cnf uh, my dot cnf file under usr dot my cnf <coughs> so the installation process has been done successfully and in the next video we will discuss on uh, my sql optimization so okay and thanks for watching the video okay bye